Throughout the course of this story, one thing has been clear. If Camden is to make a comeback, it's the people who will make it happen. The believers on the front line who refuse to let this city die. Believers like those in the congregation at First Nazarene Baptist Church, a congregation that when given the option of leaving their church in the city for a plush new sanctuary in the suburbs, chose instead to build their new plush sanctuary right next to the old one. It belongs in Camden. It's part of the community. Uh, it has been an integral part of this community for about the last, almost last 90 years. And it, I think it would have been a disaster to move this congregation. I think it's synonymous with the city of Camden, along with other great churches here. Has Camden gotten a, a bad shake of the stick? I think Camden has got a, a, a bad shake of the stick. As I made a statement to you earlier, uh, in war, after World War II, it was a white flight to the suburbs. Now it's a black flight to the suburbs. Uh, it amazed me, a lot of these same people work in Camden every day, but they are afraid of Camden on Sundays. You got to change the mindsets. I think in the book of Ezekiel, it says that uh, when Ezekiel said, I set where they set for seven days. I think if some of our political leaders would leave their ivy towels and come here and just sit for seven days where the everyday working mother, you know, there are good people in this town. There's a small percentage that are going, going wrong. But I think, but overall, there are good people that want a fair shake at life. Is this city ready for a comeback? Can it rise again? I think it can. I think it can. And I think one of the things that kept Camden going has been her churches. Uh, I, I'm just a firm believer. I don't want to sound fanatical, but I just believe uh, that a safe city is a safe city. The story of Camden, New Jersey may be loaded with problems and complexities and often no real answers to pressing questions. But all around this city, despite the blight, despite the flashing lights in the night, the crime, the corruption, the negativity, there is still hope and defiance from the people who call Camden home, people who have no plans to turn their back on it. I love Camden, you know what I mean? I think Camden is a, is, is a beautiful city. I think it's a lot of love here. I'm hoping that it can come back a little bit. <laughs> I mean, my, my loved ones is here, and you know, I have a daughter that goes here, so it's very personal, personal to me. Um, they love this city, they, they don't want to leave the city, so we have to make this city the best that it can be. Most of our people that really could help us, they, they soon leave us. And that's why I encourage people, stay with us and help us work, and I think we, we, we will work our way out of this. I'm encouraged now, I, I know it's going to be a better day. It's a place that, you know, you can have a chance at life. It's a start. Every time I go far from here, it always calls me back. In time, not in my time, but in time, Camden is going to be rebuilt 
and it's going to claim the fame that it once had. I can't just walk out and leave somebody when they're good to you. When you, when you receive a blessing, you don't throw it away. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.